Welcome all. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about propagation constant, attenuation, as well as phase constant for plane wave. Since in the previous lecture we discussed about the equation of plane wave, so in the equation of plane wave we assume that from equation. The propagation constant that is equals to gamma square is equals to j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon. This value we assumed in the derivation of equation of plane wave. Now from this we can also say that the value of gamma is being equals to j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon so this is the value of propagation constant let me give it as equation number one since we also know that the propagation constant in terms of attenuation and phase constant can be represented as alpha plus j beta. So let me give it as equation number 2. On comparing equation number 1 and equation number 2, we can write the value of gamma equals to alpha plus j beta which is being also equals to under the root j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon this is our equation number 3 now this can also be represented as gamma that is being equals to alpha plus j beta on multiplying it we get minus of omega square mu epsilon plus j omega mu sigma now on calculating the magnitude we get mod of gamma that is also being equals to under the root alpha square plus beta square and this expression can also be written in terms of magnitude as under the root minus omega square mu epsilon square plus omega mu sigma square now let us take a square on both sides on squaring both sides we get alpha square plus beta square that is being equals to under the root minus of omega square mu epsilon square plus omega mu sigma square on simplifying it we can also write alpha square plus beta square that is being equal to under the root omega 4 mu square epsilon square plus omega square mu square sigma square alpha square plus beta square can be written as on taking this first term common from the whole expression we write 
omega 4 mu square epsilon square 1 plus omega square mu square sigma square over omega 4 mu square epsilon square now alpha square plus beta square can be represented as on taking this term out of the square root we can write omega square mu epsilon that is being equals to under the root 1 plus sigma over omega epsilon to the power 2 so this is the final expression or the value of alpha square plus beta square let us give it as equation number 4 and here we discuss the equation number 3 so on squaring on both the sides for equation number 3 on squaring both sides for equation third we get alpha plus j beta to the power 2 that is equals to under the root j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon square if we simplify this LHS by the identity a plus b to the power 2 then it will become alpha square minus beta square that is being equals to plus 2 j alpha beta that is being equals to j omega mu sigma minus omega square mu epsilon on comparing the real part we get alpha square minus beta square that is being equals to minus of omega square mu epsilon so this is the value of alpha square minus beta square let me give it as equation number 5 so this is the equation number 4 and this is equation number 5 that we evaluated on solving the equation number 4 and equation number 5 we get the actual values of attenuation and phase constant so on solving equation number 4 and equation number 5 we get our attenuation constant which is represented by alpha that is being equals to omega under the root mu epsilon over 2 inside the bracket under the root 1 plus sigma over omega epsilon square minus 1 so this is the value of attenuation constant that we get after solving this two equation and similarly we also get the phase constant which is being represented by beta that is being equals to omega under the root mu epsilon by 2 inside the bracket 1 plus sigma over omega epsilon by 2 sorry square plus 1 so here is the basic difference between the polarity of this symbol that is 
in terms of attenuation constant here is the negative sign but in case of phase constant that we get here is the positive sign so this is the basic difference between both these value and everything is similar now if we discuss about the phase velocity for the plane wave then the phase velocity which is being represented by v of p is given as omega over beta so if we want to calculate the phase velocity then we will simply calculate by this formula only and if we discuss about the intrinsic impedance then the expression for the evaluation of intrinsic impedance is being equals to nita which is j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon since the intrinsic impedance is being represented by nita and its value is equals to under the root j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon so these all are the basic parameter associated with plane wave we will use this formula in the upcoming videos for finding the wave propagation and its behavior in different different mediums if you like my videos then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button thank you